start by putting on this facial hydrating mist. Uh, this is actually for my job. We carry a lot of green brands and a lot of brands that are like uh, paraben free and have like are very organic. And this is uh, one of the ones that we have. I think. So go ahead and close. And let me know if you have like any questions along the way. Like we're here to teach you. So I that has like the cleanser, the moisturizer. And I think like a toner or something like that. Yeah. Do you use toner? Yeah. Okay. Good. But it's like with salicylic acid. Yeah, I have always been really bad about using my toner until recently when I realized that like I really should be using it. Because we're getting older. Yeah, you know and what I doesn't... prefer over a toner? I prefer pure rose water. Oh, I that's what I was doing for a long time. Because I bought rose water when I went to Dubai and it has lasted me for like over a year. That really helps. It's really good for stress and aging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stress really? skin and aging. Mm -hmm. I'm using this uh, Lancome Pro. Ah, Lancome Pro uh... primer. Primer. <laughs> <laughs> You like that primer? I love it. What do you like about it? I just love that like it really fills in the pores. And it doesn't feel like greasy or oily to me. Yeah, it doesn't feel thick. No. And really it just kinda light. like gets to the point. Yeah, it's light. It and really just... smooths it out. You can tell the difference. Like, yeah. It really smooths out. So I'm using the Even Steven Whipped Foundation from the Balm. And I just started using this stuff and it's amazing. I used it on my client yesterday. I haven't used this exact color yet, but I feel like this is your color. Yeah, it looks good. Read this packaging. It's like very minimal ingredients. Very minimal ingredients for your foundation. Um, lately I've just been using more like the tinted moisturizer that mm -hmm. you recommended. Um, for like daily wear, right? Yeah. Yeah. For foundation, depends, but I have uh, a Chanel one. Armani, and then I have an Urban Decay one. Okay. But I mainly still use them because I just want to use them because I still have them. Right, right. So I haven't bought anything new. But you probably don't wear them that often, huh? I try not to. Yeah. More when like I have, like I'm actually gonna do something and go out and have a reason to. Right. Yeah, you don't even need concealer with this one. Yeah, it's like really nice. Coverage. Yeah, it's really nice. I feel like I didn't put a little too much, but it's okay. I like that. So I applied it first with a brush, and now I'm just blending it with this beauty blender. This stuff is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and matte out your lips. Oh my gosh, this yeah, looks that looks so really good. Okay, good now, on you. see, I haven't actually tried this foundation. I just hear oh such great gosh. things about it. I just I, discovered it on Monday. I want to I want to try it now. It's so and it, I feel like it dries kind of fast but not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Like it like gives you like that matte. But you know what's look. good is that you can always use that water, that yeah. hydrating water to like kind of moisten it up again. I'm telling you, you don't even need concealer with this. It's crazy. This is perfect. Well, she doesn't even have good. Like, it's good too cuz like if you're pressed on time. Oh my gosh, yes. To do all that, which yeah. is why I love the bare minerals powder for so long because I feel like I would just like put it on, it's yeah, so like, fast and easy. And I yeah. still get a nice, school. yeah. I'm always gonna be a bare minerals fan, me too. It's so nice and even and to the end. Then I don't care how many foundations come out, like, I'm always gonna I'm be always, loyal to too. them. Always, oh, yeah, wow, doesn't that no, no look at your neck and like. Look at the color. No wow, concealer. that looks like clean, right? Holy shit. Wow. No concealer whatsoever. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so I'm using the uh, BH Studio Pro uh, Total Coverage Concealer on her lids as eyeshadow primer, so we're not using it as, as actual concealer. Just putting a little bit on the brush, and then go ahead and close. I'm just going to evenly put this all over your eye. If it's like a concealer that dries pretty fast, then you can definitely use concealer. Okay. It doesn't have to be primer. Okay, see, um, look, look in the mirror. You can see the difference between that eye and the other eye. So you only need a little That's bit. That's nice. Nice, right? Yeah, I only put a little bit. I only put that much. Okay. So you go all the way to the top. All the way. But I start in the middle first. 
So you're going to do that side. Oh, it's okay. You want to hold your brush like this, right? Because you want, you want the whole flat side to be able to be all over your lid. And then just stop. Hold it. And then just like blend, blend it out. Yeah. So no matter what look I'm doing, whether it's like a simple eye or not, I apply powder all over the lid after and that's what like sets uh, the concealer or eyeshadow primer and makes sure that it stays in place and doesn't go anywhere. So I just use a light color to do that. I use Crepe, which is from my Lorac palette. And we're just going to use a flat brush. I like to use a brush like this when I'm applying it underneath uh, the brow bone. So this is perfect for your lid or underneath the brow bone. So you want to make sure you pick up a good amount of product, tap off the excess, and then it's going to look invisible, so it's almost going to look like it's pointless, but trust me, it's like doing something. So I start off on the bottom of the brow, and then whatever's left over on the brush, I just sweep it all over the lid, like that. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I think, uh, I think the product's on that. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying that I like warmer colors for the crease, like warm matte colors. I'm not really into like cool uh, mattes for the crease. Uh, I like anything like this. I think these are like really pretty crease colors. This is even a pretty crease color. Um, so you want to stay away from using... Honestly, I hate saying like you don't want to do this or that because makeup is supposed to be fun and you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But in general, you don't use shimmery colors on the crease. Because in photographs, you're not going to be able to see your eyeshadow. It's going to look like a thing of like glitter. It's better to use these shimmery colors on the lid. Unless you're doing matte all over the lid and then using a shimmery color to blend your matte eyeshadow on the crease. So for you, I'm going to go ahead and start with pecan. I mean tan because it's lighter than pecan. And you want to use a fluffy brush like that. Because this brush is going to do all of the blending for you. So... Oh. Just put some in there like that. And I like to start right here. So not completely on the end and not right here, right like in the middle, kind of like where the arch of your brow is, like right there. Start applying the color there. And so I also want to mention that it's um, important to know your eye shape too. Because yeah. Super important. But what also can help you is when you feel, you can feel where your crease is. You feel that bone? Yeah. That bone is going to tell you where the matte eyeshadow should go. Look at the difference like already. It's already. Like, yeah. I love so you can, nice just by itself. Just by itself, right? Eyes look like they kind of like change color. Yeah, they do. So do they ever get kind of green? Yeah, they get darker. They get more greener or browner depending on. Warm colors are always going to like bring out uh, lighter eyes. So you're going to go ahead and do the other side. Tan. So pick up some of that tan. Bone arch. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. And you're just going to go back and forth. And you did like little circles. Here. Yeah, you can mix it up. So you can go from doing little circles to just go doing like little windshield, like, like think of like a car. I goes just back and forth. Yep. And what is it that you always say, Ella? Blend, blend, blend. Blending is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> blend, blend, blend. Blending is your friend. Ah, ah that looks really good. You want to do your makeup? That's super cute. That's perfect. Smaller blending brush. So you can see the difference. There's a tiny bit of a difference. Do you see that? Yeah. How this one's a little bit smaller? Mm -hmm. So I'm going in with a smaller one. So this one. So it's slightly darker than this color, and that's how girls get like that really like blended look because they're using different colors that are very, very similar, right, like back to back. So I'm gonna pick up some product on this. Same thing that I did earlier. And then I'm just going a little bit closer to your actual lid. And then just doing this, blending it like on the outside and bringing in whatever's left over in. It's very subtle, but it, it makes a difference. You go twice. Yeah, twice or three times. 
And I'm kind of creating like a little V, like I'm bringing it down here to the bottom lash line. Oh yeah, I would see. You see the difference, right? And it's so, it's such a little like extra step, but yeah, the other side. And I already put the product on there for you. So just right here you said? Yeah, kind of the outer corner. And you're creating a little V because you're going to bring exact perfect. You're bringing it down to your like bottom lash line. Yes. Nice color to put all over your lid because this is like your day look, right? Like your, this is like a brunch look. Like yeah, you're not going to the like club. Some eyeliner and yeah. lashes. And, and then I'm going to make it darker. Using a smaller flat brush for the actual uh, lid because I have small eyelids and then I feel like I have more control of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go in with you. I'm going to use Kava, which is this color right here. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. Tap off the excess. And then I'm applying this to begin with in the middle. And then I'm just sweeping it all over the lid. This is the easiest part. This is so much easier than what I showed you earlier. Yeah. With this one, you want to make sure that you're holding your brush like this because it's just going flat. And you want to stay underneath the matte color that you put on your crease because you don't want to erase your hard work. Perfect. I don't know if it's easier for you, but I hold it like this, like a pencil. You can do whatever's comfortable, but that was just like... Perfect. Is it bring it in? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's a good tip. I'll about to hold it like this. Yeah. Really? That you like a pencil? I've never done it like really? that. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I have really small eyelids. Oh yeah. It looks good. Perfect. I like putting mascara on people first before their liner. I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. For me, it depends. Like, there's some mascaras that take so long to dry. Mm, that makes sense. That all do. Oh yeah, the I think so kind. That's yeah. so super wet. Yeah, this one dries pretty fast. Do you guys want to know what my favorite mascara is of all time? It's from Mexico and it costs two dollars. The Apple really? one. Really? So uh, we're doing a day look first, and kind of like she's going to brunch, you know. So I am gonna apply false lashes on her and these are the Ardell uh, Natural Multi Pack and they're the Demi Wesby's. So what's nice about these is that you don't even have to cut them. They pretty much um, fit everyone's eyes. So I'm going to do this first. Funny when guys say like, oh, I really like her makeup. Like she's not wearing makeup. Oh my god. Like, no, oh, that's she does not have makeup. You have no idea. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Take a look at that so far. Oh yeah, wow. Put it on yourself, huh? But you yeah. do know how to put on lashes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to... I'm in the process. Lash I feel like lashes are, are always harder to put on yourself anyway. They lashes are. Lashes are just going to be practice your yeah. whole life. Except for Alba. Like, she can put it on so quick. So, I touched up her foundation and I put um, some concealer underneath her eyes. And we used um, the BH Studio Pro Concealer. And this is in number 102 to really brighten up that eye and just take it over here and it kind of like gives you like a little facelift. So now we're using um, the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette and I love this palette so much. I'm going to mix these two colors and um, set her under eye. I'm just starting off in the middle and pressing it. This is pretty easy so you're going to let it bake. So we don't even want to blend it out right now. We're just like press, 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 press. Bring it down a little bit. So we don't have like a harsh line. Like that. And then we're going to blend that out later. That's going to make sure that your concealer doesn't go anywhere. I feel like this is probably easier than a loose, huh? I think, I think it's like less messy for sure. So I'm using uh, Photo Bomb's medium uh, foundation powder, and I'm actually wearing this on my face right now too. This is amazing. It's talc-free. Janet, what exactly is talc again? Um, it's an ingredient that can clog your pores. There it is. An ingredient that can clog your pores, and it doesn't have it. And I'm just going to do big motions like that. 
and I'm not going to use a lot because you don't even need a lot. I'm just going to take off the shine and set your foundation. I feel like it just blends into your skin color mm -hmm. anyway. Gosh, I'm so excited to learn how to do this. <laughs> Yay, your kids a little bit more. It's so much easier than you thought, huh? Oh, yeah. How do you like that foundation powder so far? I love it. And the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for you. And it's nice to find colors that actually, like, match you. Yeah. That you don't have to go to the store and, like, figure out. So now mm -hmm. you know yourself. And where can I get the bomb? You can. So they only have one freestanding store right now in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, it's on Mission, or you can get it online. I really like it. I'm so impressed that I don't have to use... Because a lot of foundations, even so... Maybe I'm just not using the like I'm not it's not my match or something. Mm -hmm. But with like even concealer, you can always see my scars. Mm -hmm. I know you can see through it. Maybe it's because I don't know. Maybe it's like the whipped formula. But yeah, this is the foundation that you're gonna get, and it's called me. It's just medium, and it's your perfect shade. So I'm gonna do a light contour on her, um, and I'm gonna use the lightest color in the palette. And this is gonna be very quick because it's like a day look and we're not going to waste a bunch of time on it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the hollows of your cheeks. So at the halfway point, learning... This is like a day look. We're going to uh, transform it into a night look, but I'm just going to add some blush on her. It's great. I'm <laughs> learning so much. Yay! So much. It's a nice little like, warm blush. A little bit. And I apply it right on top of the contour. Okay. So that it blends in, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the Bare Minerals brush? Yeah. That's a good one. I love this brush. I use it all the time. And then sometimes I have to go back in with my foundation brush. I'm just blend it all up. To make it more like seamless. Yeah. We're going to transform her day look into a night look, and I'm going to use this Morphe palette. I believe this is the. I want to say this is either the copper. I don't know. It's either the copper or the bronze palette. But anyway, so I'm going to focus on using. I'm going to use this darker color this like burnt I don't know what do, how, how'd you describe this color it's like a rust I don't know. <laughs> it's like a rust <laughs> rusty brown <laughs> and I'm just doing this on your crease again like an outer knee can you see giant yeah okay, right. pretty right so, I know this is like going from night to day, right? Say, so, yeah, or from just, day to night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if I was just going straight into the night, would it still be the same? Everything that we did? Everything that we did, plus yeah. This. Mm -hmm. okay. Plus this. So, I did like an outer V, and then I just brought whatever was left over inward. And it looks like that. So I'm just going to have you do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. A round brush like this. And then I'm going to take um, this chocolate brown color. You'll need a little bit. And I'm just going to lightly apply that. Just I'm sticking more into the outer corner on this, this time. So it looks like that. So it kind of gives you like that smoky effect. You still need the V, right? Right, the V. Because you don't want it to be too high. Just kind of what you're just like adding a little bit, a little bit of dimension. Look how pretty that is. Can you see? Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's like when, when you do it, hold your brush this way. Mm -hmm. 
Dazzle Light. It, it's that from look, MAC. It looks like Dazzle Light. Look Can at that. See? You think it's Dazzle Light? Look how pretty that is. Yeah, that's Dazzle Light for sure. So this is my favorite color to use on like my brides for the inner corner of the eyes. So using a brush like this, this is called a pencil brush. And you already have the highlight earlier, so you're just going to go over it like this. Then I think the brow bone just go back and forth right here. You don't need to do it all the way all over the brow bone. Yeah. That's pretty. Heck, that's pretty. She's a perfect model for this. Huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that makes such a and we had to stop recording because I didn't have enough memory to record the rest. But this is the final look. She's wearing the lightest uh, lip color in the Shan XO palette from BH Cosmetics. Her lip liner is Spice from um, Hemp Organics. And then close your eyes. And then we made her eyes pop out even more using the Morphe palette. And she is wearing Andrea. In so like I said earlier, she's wearing the um, Demi Wispies from Ardell. And then the individual lashes are by Andrea, and you can get them at Ulta. And yeah, I'm so sad I couldn't do a proper ending to this video because I ran out of memory. But I just want to say thank you so much to my business partner, Janet, for recording this. Uh, thank you to Irais for being such a beautiful model. And thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like these, then we'll definitely do more. And don't forget to subscribe.